Hey there kiddos, what's crack -a My name is Rabbit and welcome to episode number 35 of Let's Play Through Final Fantasy Origins, specifically Final Fantasy 1 on the PlayStation 1. Where we had parted ways, I told you guys I was going to take it upon myself to finish up all of the grinding I needed to do in order to not only have a sufficient amount of guilt in my name, I told you guys we needed somewhere between 50 and 60k. I decided to be a little bit of a tryhard and as you can see I have just a few thousand short of 90,000 uh, gil. But really what's important for you guys is to see the spells that we now have on our party that we were able to purchase here in Gaia. So if you take a look at Rohit, he has access to Ice 3 which is a level 7 ability. Since he is now a red wizard he can tap into some of these extraordinary spells that will become available not only here but in other places that we will be visiting soon we'll skip Burl obviously he can't do anything with magic as for Melvin I did opt to go ahead and get holy which damages foes with divine light as well as not all I kind of talked to you guys about this that I think not all is really nice in the sense that you don't have to worry about juggling no ice no fire no bolt all these nulls that exist they're great when you're facing specific enemies so if you're someone who's played through this game an innumerable amount of times you probably have picked up on which enemies are weak to what or very have very strong defenses against something else uh, if you don't care about any of that, no all is kind of for people more like me who are kind of plebs that just enjoy playing through it but don't care as much about strategizing for every single dungeon and every single boss encounter that presents itself to you. So I think no all is a given to pick up. I'd also recommend holy. You know, it's kind of up to you guys how you want to stock up, but I'm leaving a few slots available because we've not yet exhausted everything we're going to see, and I'm just going to leave it at that and not give you guys any more spoilers. So if you want to go ahead and fill up and buy everything available to you here, absolutely be my guest. Otherwise, I think this is kind of where we really need to be as Melvin upon our visit to Gaia. I think Cure 4, Dia 4, Holy and no all are really going to set us straight and anything else we need even if I change my mind later We can always come back for it. So Moving along last but certainly not least we have Tyrone He has for his level 7 abilities ice 3 which we already saw in Rohit I'm not going to belabor that I did pick up break which you guys I think saw It's really the stop and banish that I ended up picking up without you guys after I went back and fought that evil eye for all of his gold or Gil, I should say. So I ended up picking up Stop, which stops time for foes, immobilizing them, and Banish, which sends foes to another dimension. There are other options here, but I'm not going to wait around for them. I do have the Gil if I wanted to, to grab something else, but then I'd still have to grind to get that 50 to 60k that I'm going to inevitably need in this episode. So we're not going to worry about any other spells here. Let's just move forward with the story by talking to the characters and the inhabitants of Gaia. So this fella is saying the spring in this town bears oxy ale, but only fairies can collect it. I've not seen a spring yet, but perhaps we've not finished looking around town. Gosh, I know I don't need anything from this item shop, but for those of you who are curious, I wanted to show you what's available here. We've got tents. I don't need them, I've got 11. Cottages, definitely don't need them, I've got 20. I'm at 99, you know, out of the 99 that I can carry in terms of stock for potions. And I'm not worried about capping out on antidotes anymore because we've seen a few times where chests have these and I can't open them because I am running around with 99 antidotes. And I'm not getting poisoned enough to justify me feeling that pressure to just have 99 on hand. So, talking to this fella, he says, there was a scholar studying the Lufinian language, but I can't recall his name. And I apologize, guys. I don't know why my voice is already starting to get raspy and die on me. For those of you who have watched me for a while, I guess just as I talk, sometimes my voice gets a little deeper. Sometimes it gets a little more raspy. I'll make myself a cup of tea so that when we come back together in episode number 36, this hopefully won't be as big of an issue. But for now, this fella says, or gal, I'm not sure. Oh, I have sinned deeply. I captured a fairy and sold it to a traveling caravan. Okay, and we just heard that the fairies are the only ones that can collect this oxy ale. We don't know if we need oxy ale, but we can probably assume this is going to be something we'll want. 
So if we talk to this person, uh, the priest, he says, no need for our help, I see. Keep hope in your hearts and be strong. Our party is good to go, so there's no point in coming here other than me just showing you guys that this is an option. And just to thoroughly exhaust every area that you can explore here in Gaia, if you run over this way, you will see here is the pond slash, I almost want to say lake, but I don't know what really what this is supposed to be. But this is where if we were able to collect Oxy Ale, it seems like we should be able to do it here. At least that's what the inhabitants of the town have led me to believe. But there's nothing really remaining for us to tackle here yet. So let me do what I've done in the past. I will bring up our handy dandy map and I will catch up with you guys here in just a second. I will bring you where we need to be to actually advance the story. I can't remember exactly where I need to dock, so I don't want to spend like five minutes of having you guys watch me run around. So I'm just going to cut all the meat out of this and bring you to the point. So give me just a second and we will continue the story. Okay, friends, welcome back. I actually can't believe that I was able to land the airship here, but... I was. Let me switch maps so you can get a better perspective of where we are. As you can see, we're up here in the northwestern continent and section of the world map. And we are here for a reason. You're probably thinking, Rabbit, it looks like you just parked by some rando desert. What are you doing and why are you wasting time? Friends, relax. We're not wasting time because even if this is not where we're technically supposed to be, there is a method to my madness. Now, that method could just be that I'm bringing you guys along so I can tell you about the craziness that constantly ensues in my life. But fortunately for you, that is not the case here. And I actually kind of sort of know what I'm doing. So we saw that in the town of Gaia, there were a few people that had kind of mentioned fairies and this substance known as Oxy Ale. That is for a reason. And I've talked to you guys about this before, that I know a lot of people despise this game because it is a bit cryptic, right? It doesn't really tell you what you need to do. It doesn't really tell you where you need to go or how you need to do what occurs next. But I'm here for you and I've got your back. So you want to come over here to the desert caravan. So I'm going to pull this up on the big map so you can see exactly where we are. And then I will switch to the more focused map on this continent specifically. You can see where I parked the actual airship. I can't believe I ended up parking it here. In the past, I've kind of just put it anywhere and then run up this way, but I decided I wanted to try something different because I wasn't trying to be running around for freaking ever. So we are here at the caravan. Let's go up here and see what they have to say, what they have to sell, and what do you know, friends? 50,000 gil will get us a bottled fairy with the description saying that it is a bottle containing a fairy. Not a whole lot of information for us to work with here. However, if you did speak with everyone back in Gaia, you know that we kind of want to have this fairy. And if you come back and talk to him, there's nothing exciting or extraordinary to purchase. You will have access to an ordinary set of potions, antidotes, and some gold needles, which meh, 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 I don't really care about. So we've got a bottled fairy, which is really the reason why we came back here. Let's just, let's just take a look. It just says bottle containing a fairy, but it's here in our key items now. So you know it's tied to something big and something important. So give me another second because I'm sure I'm going to get into a fight as I make my way. Oh, maybe I won't. Will I not? Uh, of course I did. Give me a second and I'll catch up with you guys back in Gaia. Howdy, 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 friends. We are back in Gaia. I know there's a little bit of running around that goes to this section of the game and the quests that are tied to this, but I promise our efforts are not going to be in vain. Actually, they're quite necessary for us to do anything to actually move forward, which I do want to take a moment to recognize. I know this is a little bit of a pain in the butt for some folks, especially if you're playing this blindly and you have no flipping clue what you're supposed to be doing and where you're supposed to be going. I get it. How are you going to know to find the caravan right up there? It's, it's going to be a hassle and a half, but I'm here to help you. So, okay, this person is still saying the same thing about sinning deeply and selling to the caravan. I don't recall if there's a character that hints as to the location of the caravan. I kind of think for a lot of us that played for a while, you just sort of know where it is. But, okay, 
We've got the bottle fairy. I'm gonna come over here and let's just see if this works. I think this is the spot where we're supposed to utilize it. Let's just test it out and see, friends. So the bottle fairy and our key items, let's try it out. And it looks like, what is this? Are we bringing it back to life? Is it going to be grateful for us saving us? Saving it, rather, but you know, kind of we're saving ourselves too. I was trapped inside the bottle you bought. How horrifying that was. To repay your kindness, I will retrieve some oxy ale for you from the bottom of the spring. Thank you, fairy. I don't know what we're going to use this oxy ale for, but I appreciate you getting it for us. And what do you know, friends? We've obtained oxy ale. Not on beat, but that's okay. We don't need to be, we're heroes of light. So get off our nuts. From that water flows an endless supply of air. Oh, fantastic. What else? Thank you again for saving me. I hope that oxy ale helped you somehow. From it flows an endless supply of air. Is all she really has to offer if you talk to her a second time. So let's go over to our key items. And as you can see, the bottle fairy is gone. And its slot has been replaced with oxy ale, which says it is a mysterious liquid that creates air. So you guys have probably guessed it. We need to use this to go to the next place. So yes, we came here. We shot till we could drop. But really what we needed to do was figure out where we need to go to get a fairy in order to get Oxy Ale for us so that we can get to our next dungeon. So what I'm going to do is bring you guys back. Do I need to sleep? No, I think we're okay. We're good on charges and no one's HP is that low. So I'm not going to be a sissy. We'll leave everyone where they're at and I'll catch up with you guys here in just a second. I'm not cutting the camera. I figured, see this is what I, I always assume is the enemies are going to be up my buns. I'll catch up with you guys back at that continent where we met with the caravan because we've got a place to visit that's near there. See you in just a sec. Okie dokie friends, welcome back. So as you can see on the map, we are back over here near where the caravan was located in this northwestern continent. What we're gonna do is I'm just gonna park my airship here. We'll hop on our little canoe and where we need to go next, I think is gonna be blocked by mountains. So let's just use it to get over here. And of course, enemies are waiting to jump on our buns, but we have the preemptive strike, so that's okay. I'll use it as an opportunity to heal up my team for free. Or maybe not, because as you can see, those cat claws, you guys, I was not BSing you. Tyrone does almost, almost as much damage as Rohit. So I think the cat claws, again, if you're wanting your black mage to be able to diversify a little bit of what he brings to the table, get him some cat claws. But okay, we are here at a new town known as On Lack. Let's take the rest of this episode to explore, see what they've got, and look in the well. A well, not at all important, it says. Okay, maybe we won't use this episode to look in the well, but we will use the episode to see what's at the various shops. We've got a set of potions, don't need, antidotes, don't need, tents, cottages, and golden needles. Snoozeville, this is all old news, so let's not even worry about it. There's an inn down below. I just wanna make sure we talk to everyone, so let's, oh, take a look at your reflection in the water. What a grimy face, wash it with the water. Okay. I hear the sunken shrine contains heaps of treasure, gold and diamonds and, oh, someone also said there's a stone slab of some sort too. Hmm, so maybe that's where we need to go? Lufinian is a language used by the ancient race known as the Sky People. My brother, One, haven't we seen that name before? Didn't he proclaim himself to be a doctor? Hmm. Let's keep that name in the back of our minds. I'm pretty sure we've seen that at some point. Anyway, this person's brother, Une, would talk of it constantly. He always lamented that he couldn't find the Rosetta Stone. I wonder, what if we found the Rosetta Stone? Could we perhaps reunite this Une with such a tool and it allow us to then know all kinds of languages? Who knows? Let's talk to this fella who says, Amazing Bahamut recognized you as heroes. He can tell that we've been upgraded, which is great. 
My daddy has gone off with the caravan. They're headed for the western desert. They always make camp on the north edge of the desert near some trees. I miss my daddy. I hope he comes home soon. Okay, guys, I actually talked about this earlier in this episode that I could not remember if someone talks about the location of the caravan. This is your girl. She tells you exactly where to find it, or at least gives you the clue as to where you need to go to find it to get that bottled fairy. So everything really is here in the game. You just need to piece together everything in the correct order to figure out where you need to go to get item A that will unlock access to item B, which unlocks access to dungeon C, which continues to the next uh, set of events for you to finish the game. It's a bit of a pain, I know, but everything really is here for you. So. Hopefully that makes sense and at least it's all being tied together in this episode. I actually forgot that that was the girl that tells you where the caravan is, so I'm glad we talked to her. Anyway, this person says, do you have legs? I reckon, I mean, do you have legs? And more shops, and of course we don't have enough money for any of them. But I just want you guys to at least see what is available to us. We have no magic, which reinforces protection against instant death. We don't need to worry about this because we got the protect ring. So that is 45,000 gil. We do not have to waste. Now heal three. This is up to you guys if you want this or not. But it is finally an AOE heal that gets sometimes close to 100 HP per heal. I still don't know if this is that extraordinary. I'm really torn on the AOE heals. I think... You know, getting the free heal from a healing rod is nice. Is it worth an actual spell slot? I'm not too sure. What I am sure about is that I do like these two spells. We've got Saber, which raises your own attack by 16 and Accuracy by 10. This is going to be great for Tyrone. And then we've got Blind, which I think it suits its own purpose. I think Blind is good to have. People might argue with me on this one and say Saber is really the thing to pick up here. But I think you you can't really you can't really go wrong with Blind either. For sure though, let me just focus and say grab Saber if you can. I'm going to obviously have to run out and do a little bit of grinding and I'm not going to keep you guys for that. I want us to finish talking to most of the people in town and then I'll go ahead and grab Saber myself. And I guess if I feel like it, oh, I might... Maybe what I'll do, I'll grab perhaps heal three and saber. So that way we're getting one white mage spell and one black mage spell. And that might be the way for us to do it. I'm guessing, I think, I don't know. Like I said, we're just, we're going to play it by ear and see what ends up working best for us. I like blind. I don't think it's the best ability, but I don't think it's awful either. So it's up to you. But anyway, here, check out my legs. It's so wonderful to have legs. I can dance now, see? Okay, I'm very happy for you. Why is everyone obsessed with legs? And another well, not important. The shrine sank into the depths of the sea 200 years ago. Rumor has it that mermaids dwell there now. Oh, okay. Do we need to talk to these mermaids? You ever heard of something called Oxy Ale? Yeah? What about it? Well, he's not going to tell us anything about the Oxy Ale, but fortunately, friends, we already did what we needed to do to get it. So it's just about talking to the right person at the right place. I saw Underhill selling something strange at his caravan camp. I don't know who Underhill is, but okay. <laughs> Arg, leave me alone. If I can't catch a single fish, how am I supposed to eat? And don't touch my drink! <gasps> okay, that person is drunk out of their mind. We're gonna leave them alone. Copy said that he saw something bright falling to the earth. I think he was delirious. He might have been. It's possible. This town enjoyed great prosperity 200 years ago. Yeah, well, what happened to it now? Rest in peace, rest in peace, rest in peace. We're just gonna check all these. RIP, RIP. Okay, nothing but RIPs all the way around. So, what I'm going to do, friends, we are at a good stopping point. I'm going to go ahead and amass enough gills to where I can buy. Like I said, I think the way to go here, if you're not sure on blind, I for sure absolutely recommend Saber. Heal 3 is also kind of up to you if you really want the AoE. You know, it depends on play style. 
I'm gonna just give you guys a spoiler and say I'm going to opt to grab heal three as well as saber. So we will come back together here in just a little bit where in when we start our upcoming episode number 36, we will have those new spells and we will be ready to move this story forward. Now that we kind of know we need Oxy Ale, which dun dun dun, dun we have. And it seems like we need to just find this underground slash underwater area that this person alluded to where mermaids might be. And we need to find something called the Rosetta Stone. Now, is all of that going to be in the same place? We've not had that confirmed yet, but I feel confident that we'll figure it out. So take care, be good, and friends, we will find out what we need to do together here in just a moment when we come back together for episode number 36. I'll see you guys there. <laughs> 